Well, I've got it here today as a little demonstration to show you how uh, gold finds its way in behind boulders in a stream. So I've got a small scale demonstration using my old sluice box here as the as the bottom hard bedrock, and then some boulders placed in uh, every so often along the, the stream bed here. And I'm going to turn the water on, and I'm going to put some heavy black sand in here and just see where it kind of accumulates and where it uh, which uh, areas it decides to hide behind. All right, I've got the boulders moved around just a little bit uh, compared to what I had on the first uh, shot there, but uh, I'm going to start pouring some black sand in and just uh, we'll see where this stuff ends up going. You can see it's moving and it's hiding itself right behind those boulders. It's kind of falling along here and see if it'll stay there. So I'm going to take, shut the water off now. Now you can kind of see where all the places where the black sand is hidden itself. So we start pouring it up here. Of course there's a little bit hidden up here on the black mat. And the next place it went is behind this one. You can see it in behind there. And then after it moved, it took a straight line to the next boulder and went right underneath. There's all the black sand hide underneath there. And then it shot out and it went straight down. A little bit of it accumulated under this boulder here. In fact, you can see it came around, around all the way underneath it, uh, out of the water stream, and it looks like it worked its way over towards the left-hand side of the boulder there. And from there, it moved down. And here's a, what would you might consider a piece of bedrock sticking out into the, the stream. Uh, so it hits this bedrock here and then in behind there's where all the, this would be the gold where it would accumulate. So I'm going to lift up these boulders and just see what we got underneath in there. So we'll look at all the black sand hiding underneath that rock. Imagine if that was that was real gold. Quite a bit hidden under there. A lot hidden under there. I was curious to see what this one would look like. Wow, look at all that underneath there. So you can see it took a straight line. The gold hit here and, and went with the stream flow and it hit this rock then down to this one. And right in a straight line, there's very little of it even over here. Um, just a little bit, but not much. Most of it followed the straight line right down and hit each boulder on its way down. So I'm going to reconfigure these boulders and try it again. And I've got another setup here. I'm going to try this out and uh, we'll see how this works. A little black sand up here. Follow that and see how it goes. And you can see where it's really hiding in behind those rocks. See the path of where the gold would take. This is heavy material and gold would do the same exact thing and hide in with this black sand. Turn it off and just see what we got here. So you can see where the deposits would be if this were an actual stream bed. Anywhere where there's black sand, there's going to be gold and it's see right behind. It's uh, interesting how this one here uh, accumulates in front of the rock, but I bet you there's plenty of it in behind. There's a ton of it back here. If we lift up each one of these just to see what's there, there's a lot underneath that one. That was right in the path of the of the gold of the pay material. Quite a bit under that one. A little bit under that one. Quite a bit under there. And this is, just shows you how gold would find its way underneath these boulders and get stuck under there. Quite a bit. And this big one. Quite a bit under there too. Quite a lot of it under there actually. So, there's for that demonstration. Alright, I've got a little different setup here. I've added some bricks in here to kind of channel the water over here into this one side. I'm trying to 
uh, duplicate uh, what, an inside bend, how gold would uh, accumulate around inside bend. So you see the wire is going to come uh, right down through here. It's going to come around this corner. It's going to come around this corner. Come around this corner, and head out that way. Uh, let's just see how that works. All right, you can see what it looks like. How it's racing around. You can see there's some black sand already in there, but I'm going to put some more in there to see how this works. Quite a bit in there. See how it's flowing down there. So you can see, this would be a gravel bar right here. Now it's all accumulated around that inside bend. Also on this, a little bit on this inside bend. And then, of course, it's accumulating at the back of this rock here. But uh, this one right here really demonstrates what an inside bend would do uh, in a real river channel and where it would accumulate, where the gold would accumulate all the heavies. So I let this run a little while and get some of this black sand move out of here. But you can really see how this formed a gravel bar here. I don't think you can get a good picture of it. Of course, not in the sun, but you can really see how it's even built up there and made a gravel bar. Um, not quite a good example right there, but again, you can see where the gold is going to be accumulating based on uh, how it's coming downstream and hiding behind these rocks. And of course, there's gold trailing or heavies trailing off the backs of, of these rocks as well.